Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Kido Muji from Gedi Concept Researchers. Please kindly uh, like and subscribe to our channel so that you can always get our videos while it drops. Okay. Now back to this place. We still be looking at conditional formatting. I will still go back to that later. Now conditional formatting is just simply uh, within a particular data range, you could uh, do some kind of formatting, which tries to assign maybe a color or something to each particular data, depending on their size. Like let's say big data, average data, small data. So let's come back to the same table here. Now, pay attention to this now, please. If you look at the total costs, you find out that they are not all equal. Now, I can apply a conditional formatting to just this column here by highlighting it. Highlight the entire column of total. Then I'll come back to my home. Maybe some of us have seen this command here called conditional formatting. I will just go to there. It's on the right hand side, conditional formatting. Now I can format my data with colors. You can see green, yellow, and red color. That is showing like from the biggest data to smallest data. Now you observe that uh, the biggest size of data are in green, followed by uh, lighter green. So as the color is fading, it is becoming small. So the smaller sizes of data on this data now, on this uh, column, are the ones in red. As you can see, this is just $19. Why this one in green is about $2,305. So that is just how to enter conditional format. Now, let's look at the bigger data set. Let's look at this data set now. Let me zoom this out, please. Want to zoom out my page? Good. Now look at this data very well. We it has not been formatted. This is just region products from products A to D. Now I can apply conditional formatting to this data by simply just highlighting this and come back to my conditional formatting. Of course, uh, I can use my colors also. Now see what happened here when I apply this to the entire work let me undo this i'm going to duplicate this into two i'll copy it with ctrl c and of course paste it with ctrl d now in the first uh one i'm going to apply this to the entire data why in the second one i will apply it column wise so look at what happened here if i select this then come over to conditional formatting Use my color, I just want to separate them with colors. You see that uh, 500, 400, these ones are the biggest size of data here. They're followed by the ones on pale uh, green, and the smallest ones are 150 here. Now, on the second data, I'm going to format it column wise. So let me select this first column and then apply the same color formatting there from conditional formatting. And then select the second one also. Color formatting. Beyond time, you can look at what some of these other conditional formatting do. Like can get top 10, percentage, and all that. So also apply to this one. Go back here. Now, this time I'm doing the conditional formatting based on columns, based on individual columns. That is, I'm doing this conditional formatting. So that on this first column, now you can see that 400 is the largest, while on this other one here, 500 is the largest. And of course, here and here. Now, notice that in the first instance, when I apply this command to the entire data, 200 was not on green even though it was the highest on this column. 
So this one now that is looking at it column wise, 200 is on green because it is the highest on this column. So I believe uh, the conditional formatting is pretty simple. Okay. Uh, this section is quickly running out. So I believe we are together on the conditional formatting. Good. To copy, just select, copy, and then paste. Good. You could just highlight. I prefer to use my keyboard to copy so you can highlight, right click, copy. Then you go as we are right click. Now, look at what happens when I want to paste. I have different paste option. This one say paste. This one paste with your command. Why this one say paste just numbers? Now, if I paste number, any command that I've applied previously will be out. And that's the one I want to use. So whatsoever command that has been applied to the data should be I just paste the raw data for us. So that is it about conditional formatting. Now, thank you for watching this video. You can also check out some other videos that are prerequisite to this one on our course series in data analysis using Microsoft Excel. Please kindly leave your questions in the comment section and we'll attend to them. Also remember to like, share, comment, and most especially, please kindly subscribe to this channel so that we can always serve you better. Thank you.